All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. I am back after about a three-week hiatus, and let me tell you something. It was a well-deserved break from anything in all reality-related. And essentially, uh, took a three-day PTO time and went out to Texas, Abilene, Texas, with some good friends of mine. wasn't even YouTube-related. I was invited to go hog hunting from a helicopter and thank the guys out there at Pork Choppers. Look them up at porkchoppers.com. Pork Choppers, porkchoppersaviation.com. That's their YouTube channel. Also, they have an Instagram uh, channel. I'll put the link down below for those guys. This is, was a paid trip, not a freebie. But I will tell you, I have never had more fun in my entire life. It was absolutely incredible. Some guy posted a little video on Instagram, and one of the guys, uh, or actually on YouTube, and he was like, that's not a real sport. Go toe-to-toe -to -toe with those guys. Well, evidently, you've never flown in a helicopter and shot a pig from 50 feet above. It's absolutely <laughs> Let's just say, man, it was a blast. I didn't have to worry about anybody shooting back at me. That All right, so what are we here for? I uh, got this thing in the mail yesterday, and this is the Primary Arms SLX 1 to 6 by 24 second focal plane scope. Okay, so this is the SLX brand or version. Uh, pretty neat little deal here. And when I first saw this, I opened it up, of course I did, right? And the first thing that came to mind was this guy right here. Uh, this is the uh, Vortex Razor HD. This is her Gen 2. This was the one of the first Razor HDs that I ever picked up. This guy's got a lot of use, and this has the uh, Jerry Michalik uh, JM1 reticle, which is really cool because it has substantions that will go, uh, you do the dot at 50, 200, and then you go to substantion 300, 400, 500. Okay, just like that. Um, and it has this thing called a fire dot. All right, so the reason why I'm saying that that guy right there reminds me of this guy right here is because this has a new fiber optic dot. And when I first turned it on, it blew me away. All right, so let's just say for the cost standpoint, you can get the Razer HD on Amazon right now for $1,299. Pretty neat deal, great glass. This guy right here is $339 at Primary Arms. I'm gonna put a link down below at the campsite thing so you can see what it's all about. Okay, so what are we gonna do? I'm gonna open this guy up. I'm gonna show you some pictures. I'm gonna go ahead and mount it onto that rifle right there. Can't show that, of course, uh, because it's called uh, altering a firearm with an accessory. And they list these guys' accessories. So for the people out there at, on the YouTube world, I'm not going to alter or, you know, whatever do. Okay, so anyway, I'm gonna use this guy. This is the 30 millimeter cantilever mount, and I do believe you get a discount if you do this. All right, uh, here we go. So the first thing we're gonna do is take a look at the box. This has got the ACSS Nova. I like this reticle simply for the fact that it is simple, okay? Uh, you have substantions that equate to 18 inches out the distance. So if you want to use it for ranging, you can, okay? 18 inches, uh, the first one's at 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. Very simple, very easy. There are some substantions here, some mill dots out here. Not really worried about that because if you're using this scope, you're probably gonna be using it for competition. You know what your windage is gonna be prior to getting on, on position. Okay, uh, <laughs> absolutely incredible. But the part that, it did, well, let's just back up. The part that made me feel like this was the closest thing I've ever seen to the Razer HD is because this is like a fire dot. Okay, or like the uh, loophole, fire dot. This guy right here is bright, 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 which leads me to the assumption or the idea that this would be perfect for a beginner who's trying to get into three gun or anything else like this. This thing is badass. Okay, so secondly, when I look through it, I'm just rambling on here because this is what I used to do. This is the fun part. When I look through the glass, it is absolutely incredible. The eye box is incredible. The glass is equates, and I'm not, I know people are gonna smack me in the face when I say this. If I held these two, this, the Razer HD and this guy side by side, the glass is comparable. It really is. Okay, let's talk about this, the SLX. One to six second focal plane scope. All right, second focal plane scope, what that means is the reticle is going to be consistent no matter what your magnification range is, okay? If you have it all the way out to power six, that reticle is going to be the same size as if you were at power one, which is why I say this is perfect for competition because of the fiber optic red dot in the middle. It's extremely bright. You have it all the way at power one. You're going to be using it for CQB, shooting those targets in close. 
and if you want you can zoom it all the way out to six and that's when you're going to really use these ranging brackets here uh, okay, the Gen 4 rifle scope is the latest iteration of our best-selling Carbon Optic, Carbine Optic <laughs> incorporating a fully upgradable optical system as integrated dovetail throw lever. Okay, we're going to show you that here in a minute. And the all-new ACSS reticles, the SLS optics built on a reputation for innovation, reliability, and value. Uh, this, all right, here's the big thing. This is a value, okay? This is not meant to be a... $1,500, $2,000, $3,000, $100,000 dollars scope, which means it's probably not made in, in Japan or the Philippines. I'm just going to say that, right? Uh, industry leading lifetime warranty and commitment to customer service. That means if you break this thing, do anything with it, they're going to replace it. This optic features our new ACSS Nova. We talked about that in the past. This thing is absolutely awesome. Let's go here. All right, magnification level one to six. Second focal plane, we discussed that. Exit pupils, 10.5, 3.8 millimeter. Four eye relief is four inches. And yes, the eye relief is absolutely incredible on this guy. Nobody cares about the field of view. <laughs> the weight is 17.85 ounces, which is something people do care about. The windage is 120 MOA. However, the adjustments are in 0.10 mils. All right, it does come with a piece of foam, lens cleaning cloth. Now this is the, the instructions of the SLX uh, reticle, uh, and again, I think being f this is probably one of the fastest reticles that I could see. Okay, so the, uh, these things are talking about movement. Okay, uh, your first substantiation is three mile per hour walk, six mile per hour jog, and a nine mile per hour sprint. This is going to be a good reticle to see in some of the other high-end scopes simply because of the simplicity of it. You don't have to learn, do anything. It's intuitive and ready to rock and roll. This is the instructional manual, and everybody knows about how we do these things. So this is what you get. This right here. All right. Very simple, very easy. You have a CR2032 battery. I'm willing to bet right here. I wonder if they gave us a spare on this side. I don't probably think so. Yep. Pretty neat. Three volt, no big deal. There are 11 levels of brightness in this guy. 11 meaning very bright. 11 levels of brightness. You do have, and I love this about a scope, when you have directionals on this side. That way, if you're on target trying to zero, you don't have to look up to figure if one side's up or one side's down. One click equals one tenth of a mil. Same thing here, left and right. Left and right, one tenth mils. And it's really not like, and you have a four right, and then you have four left, okay? So we can just put that thing dead zero right there, and we're good to go. Same thing up here, you can hear how tactile the adjustments are. Oh yeah, baby, how about that? Okay, so we got the adjustments here, adjustments here, left and right windage. We do have uh, caps that are, are uh, provided to you. Now this, uh, the <laughs> diopter is zoomed all the way out because that's how bad my eyes are. This is really cool. It comes with a throw lever. This is really unique. This, the zoom ring is very nice and tight. No movement there. You are threaded so you can put a protector on the thing on the front. And let's see if we can go ahead and get that. Get you guys so you can see how bright that thing is. Look at that. That's pretty nice. Um, and again, like I said, the glass on this guy is impeccable. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and pump it down to one. Probably you see it a little better. There you go. So that's what you're going to be looking like out there. Now, uh, one of my good friends, Focus Trip. Focus Trip actually has a really good video showing how you can implement this guy and put it on a rifle and just really rock and roll with it. Right now, let's go ahead and get the mount on here. I'm going to put it on to when I have a hand guard so that we can use to take pictures and then we'll go from there. All right, be right back. Stand by. All right, one other item that I just wanted to go over because now that we put the, uh, what do you call this thing, the scope mount on it, this guy has a 30 millimeter tube. So we're going to put these guys back on here. And then what I'm going to do is I've got a hand guard set up for taking images so I can show you guys the difference between that Razor HD and this guy, which honestly, there's not a whole lot of difference. The eye relief, the, the HD glass, not sure if this HD glass or not. However, it's just really impressive. So if I can, there we go. We'll do it like that. All right, y'all see it, you get it. All right, so anyway, let's put it on the handguard and see what's going on, and we'll go from there. But uh, 
for the money, $339. That's ridiculous. And again, like I said, if you're starting out in competition or you just want a good fashion scope, this is an excellent value. Stand by. All right, so I wanted to show you this. Uh, this is a little setup. This is a Tribe Defense. This is uh, sold by the guys over there at Optics Planet. Pretty neat because it is a, uh, what do you call it, magnesium alloy type material. But what I've used in this is a platform with the Arca rail so I can mount it to one of my big heavy duty uh, uh tripods and then i'm able to utilize this to test and show hold on one second optics by the camera so it takes a really good photo so what we'll do is we just mount this i'm gonna mount it like this so we have a little bit more room go ahead and back these out right here oh i don't know if i'm able to show me mounting this thing let's go ahead i'll put it on there and we'll get back to it but this is not a firearm so it's just a piece here we go stand by all right so <laughs> Here we are essentially in my backyard where it's not really conducive to shoot firearms because I kind of live in the city. But what I'm able to do is show you the levels of brightness and the clarity of this scope for $339, dude, you're not going to get a whole lot better than this. And uh, I've got about every scope in the world. That's why, uh, yeah, I literally had to put the video out about this guy right off the bat. So right there, that reticle is set to 11. And let's just do this before we do anything is let's go ahead, I want to zero in on this thing so you can see exactly what's going on here. The uh, vignetting and the fraction of the lens on the side is not excessive. Uh, look at that man, from 1 to 6, now that's 11, there's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, one, and zero. So let's go ahead and bump it up to 11. I want to show you guys something really cool here while I got you. And I'm able to put this on the, the, the big camera is watch that reticle go down and up, okay? This will be a good opportunity also to show you guys a tracking of these reticles. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna bump it up to six power. So you can see what's going on. All right, watch this. Moving just the top turret. One, two, three, four, five. That's how minute the adjustments are. You want that uh, half MOA or half <laughs> half MOA adjustment for a one to six power is really not something that I like. But that's gonna tell you something. This is really nice, and you can see how sensitive it is. I'm gonna adjust it. Oh, look at that. Woo, baby. In the great words of salt and pepper, ooh, baby, baby. Let's get on back in there. And I'm gonna, well, let's bring the uh, Razer HD out here and we'll do a side by side comparison. And I'll do a screenshot. Stand by. All right, guys, here we are. This is the Razer HD as we just saw before us, okay? Um, so let's do this real quickly. I'm going to do, let me make sure she's locked down really good. Okay, let's do the one to six zoom. There we go, as you can see. Let me make sure that's focused in. Should be the same. And then here is their highest illumination. That is 11. And honestly, I thought this, at one point in time, I thought this was the best one out there. So as you can see, we're going from eight. That is a fresh battery in there too, by the way, guys, to 11. And let's bring it on out. Um, this is HD glass, maybe a little clearer. Uh, not so much uh, the side to side movement, you can see. Uh, probably a little bit more clear on the edge, but you also you're paying twelve hundred and ninety nine dollars for this gen 2 scope Well, that's pretty much it. I actually went out again. You guys saw I bought a new uh, Camera this is a 50 millimeter lens. This is really nice to do these things So I can have something stationary in the freedom office and then I've got something out here in the freedom shack So anyway, here we are. That's it. The primary arms is a one to six first uh, second focal plane scope with that uh, really cool new reticle, the Nova. Fast, furious, ready to go. Uh, $339, not bad. So anyway, I'm not trying to sell this thing. I'm just trying to show everybody what it's all about. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are down below in comparison with the individual screenshots. But I think this is a really nice scope uh, for entry level. So with that being said, guys, uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Because freedom comes in one to six. It's like a focal plane with a really, really bright-ass dot. Oh, yeah. I am not joking, guys. Let's see if we can get that. There you go. It's a 
KB32, I'm out of here. Boom!